NASA is getting ready to view Earth like it's never been seen before. And they're launching a revolutionary satellite called PACE tomorrow. Natasha Sadoff with NASA joins us live now to explain more about this unique satellite. So, Natasha, what does PACE stand for? I was going to attempt it myself, but I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to have her do it. And tell us what this satellite will show us. Sure, so PACE stands for Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem, um, and it's 20 years in the making to launch the satellite, so we're so excited. We're gonna be able to see the ocean, the atmosphere, and land, the entire globe, every one to two days. So that's huge for us to be able to look at the entire globe, all the environmental processes that are happening holistically. So for example, in the ocean, we'll be able to see ocean color, so we'll understand more about phytoplankton. And as the base of the food web, that's gonna let us understand more about fisheries, about algal blooms, which I know is of course a huge issue in the Great Lakes. Um, so we'll be able to see really what's in our ocean, not just that there's something in there, but what exactly is it? We'll also be able to see the atmosphere, same thing. We'll see aerosol pollution, not just that it's there, but what are the aerosols in the atmosphere? Very interesting. So a lot of different data points there. I know you mentioned the Great Lakes. How will the information that that satellite collects directly impact us here in Chicago? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm from Ohio, so I'm also from the Midwest, and it's important in the Great Lakes to be able to see what is what are the phytoplankton um, communities that are in the Great Lakes? So you can see even in the images that you're showing, you might be able to see that there's something there. But when you can see this continuous, uh, these continuous bands of wavelengths, it's like going from the box of eight crayons to the box of 124 crayons from Costco. All that additional information will just be able to tell us more. So not just is there an algal bloom, but is it harmful? Should we stay away from the beaches, keep our, keep our dogs out of the water, not eat seafood from certain places? So we'll be able to get some really practical information about the places that we live and how to interact with um, the coast. Thank you for breaking this down in layman's terms. Um, so where can our viewers learn more about PACE and even watch the launch? Yeah, we have tons of information online, more than you could ever imagine. So you can go to nasa.gov slash PACE. Um, we have lots of information and, and a way to register to see the launch live at 1.30 a.m. Uh, this morning or this coming morning. Um, we also have lots of information on social media at NASA Earth. All right, Natasha, thanks so much for your time. Really exciting stuff there going on at NASA. Thank you so much.